Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The WBO has officially ordered Anthony Joshua to face his WBO mandatory Alexander Usyk. So we'll get to that in this video. You can see here on screen, here is an official announcement from the WBO. Also, Tyson Fury, he popped up on the Taylor Ramirez um, broadcast and he has signed his end of the deal with Deontay Wilder. And it may not end up being at the Raider Stadium, it could be somewhere else. Mark Kriegel says that the T-Mobile Arena could be in the frame. But isn't it crazy that from a week ago, we were looking at undisputed potentially. Tyson Fury announces August the 14th, he's all in, etc. The arbitration goes against him. And now he announces that he's signing to fight Deontay Wilder for the third fight, which the arbitrator said he did owe Wilder. Crazy old game boxing, but uh, what we'll do first. So see here on screen, WBO official announcement. Uh, it, it says re-show cause notice. And the WBO a couple of days ago sent a, a show cause notice basically sort of saying, hey, because of what's happened with the arbitration, uh, we want to basically progress a potential fight with Alexander Usyk, etc. So the parties involved have uh, made some submissions. And actually here um, we have Eddie Hearn. He wanted to have an extension, but the WBO actually denied that request. But uh, it says, gentlemen, please be advised that on Wednesday, yada, 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 issued a show cause notice to Mr. Eddie Hearn on behalf of the WBO head heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua requesting a, his position within 48 hours upon issuance as to why the committee shall not order the commencement of negotiations between mandatory challenger Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua per the recent events concerning the arbitrators yada 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 Tyson Fury etc. Uh, so further down here, because um, that request was denied, you can see it's bolded here, the extension request from Eddie Hearn denied. In light of the foregoing, the parties are hereby granted 10 days upon issuance of this notice to negotiate and reach an agreement for the WBO heavyweight mandatory championship contest between Joshua Usyk or a perspid ceremony will be called immediately per WBO rules and regulations of the world championship contest. So we just flick over to, to page two here. Furthermore, be advised that this is applicable in the case that if a purse bid is called, the split ratio shall be no greater than 80-20 in favour of Anthony Joshua. Such calculation is based upon the average purse of each fighter's last three bouts. C-sections, yada, 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 yada. Uh, the minimal, minimum acceptable bid by the WBO heavyweight division is $1 million. Uh, any parties involved may request a purse bid procedure at any time during the negotiation process. Lastly, at the moment of granting sanction approval for Joshua Usyk bout, the committee reserves its right per the powers conferred by our rules to impose any and all necessary conditions deemed relevant for the bout to take place. And then it is signed off by Luis Baptista Salas Esquire. So 10 days to make a fight. So this has now been ordered. They have to come to some sort of agreement. Otherwise, it will go to a purse bid. But 80-20, uh, that really is uh, quite the split there in favor of Anthony Joshua. Although I'm not sure that we'll see this going to a purse bid. They'll probably offer... Alexander Usyk, a decent chunk of change. But then again, I mean, maybe um, Alexander Usyk and his backers, maybe someone could come in with a decent purse bid, get it over in the Ukraine, something like that. But on the face of it, you'd think that uh, 10 days though, that would be enough to get a deal done. And probably it is going to be a fight that's held in the UK. Although I'm sure that there will be um, a little bit more sort of uh, tacked onto Usyk's purse to make sure that he does sign a deal and it doesn't go to a purse bid. Although I I guess one thing that a lot of people will not want to see given it's a mandatory challenge is a rematch clause inserted in there but um, yeah so this has now been ordered and if you think back this was actually uh, ordered this fight way back at the end of 2019 uh, within the space of three days the WBO mandatory um, Alexander Usyk and then the IBF mandatory Kubrat Pulev at the time were called 
and it was decided that Pulev would go first and obviously with the whole pandemic things got pushed back and pushed back uh, the Pulev fight happened in December 2020 so by the time this happens which you'd have to imagine what two or three months away something like that it will end up being about 18 months or even more since Usyk was had his WBO mandatory called and obviously now he's going to get a shot so he had been waiting in the wings he didn't want to sign off the on the Joe Joyce fight which would have been the for the interim WBO title he was waiting to see what would happen with um, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua and lucky that he did because if he hadn't he probably would have lost out on this fight so um, smart maneuvering and I always said that the reason that fight wasn't going ahead at this time was Usyk was waiting they wanted to see what was happening and it looked like it was going to be undisputed but obviously it fell over and all of a sudden he's Johnny on the spot so Usyk and Joshua looks like it's going to be coming to a TV near you in probably two three four months something like that what are we looking at maybe July we have to see okay so moving on to the other piece of news so Tyson Fury he popped up during the broadcast uh, for the Taylor Ramirez uh, undisputed um, fight at least we've had one undisputed fight and I gotta say really enjoyed that great main event but um, yeah so he has said that he has signed his end of the deal and apparently Deontay Wilder has as well and he also went on to say and you can see here on screen this um, top rank retweet uh, of Wilder Tyson Fury says he's one of two things either he's absolutely crazy or a sucker for punishment and actually Mark Kriegel he can see on the right of the screen here he actually tweeted that uh, Wilder Fury, uh, Fury Wilder 3, uh, July 24, 60 40 split for the champ here in Vegas, likely T Mobile Arena. And that had been something um, that, that is new because they were talking about the 65,000 seat stadium. Maybe they're just looking at this potential restrictions, other bits and pieces. Who knows? Maybe it's just too optimistic to sell 65,000 tickets. So T-Mobile Arena, somewhere in the region of what, close to 20,000 or so. Yeah, they should be able to do pretty well there if there is no restrictions. And Vegas has been slowly reopening up that um, Taylor Ramirez card that actually had a decent amount of fans in. It was one of the first events um, for Top Rank where they have had fans in Las Vegas. So what do you make of this news? Tyson Fury signing his end of the Wilder deal and Anthony Joshua Alexander Usyk ordered 10 days to make the fight drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared i'm out